Well, more than 80% of teens use some sort of social media to connect with friends. Mostly using apps on cell phones, and experts say that could lead to danger. Tell your side, Jason Marks shows us why even the FBI is concerned. There are potential dangers lurking on every phone. This is a device that's about 100 times more powerful than the, mo the strongest computers of 20, 15, 20 years ago. And it's, it's in ki every kid's pocket virtually. And kids are more vulnerable than ever. They can talk to anyone in the world by simply downloading an app. I think it's dangerous, but most like high school people just think it's fun. They just want to talk to people and they're bored, and so they just talk to random people. But I think it's weird. The FBI says they're seeing more and more cases of kids becoming victims. Two recent cases stand out in Virginia. In January, police arrested two Virginia Tech students, charged them with killing 13-year-old Nicole Level. Officers say the suspects met the teen on popular messaging app Kick. Just a couple weeks later, Williamsburg police say this man, Eric Martinez, raped a 12-year-old girl he met on the same app. Ten on her side sat down with undercover FBI agents to talk about social media apps and what they think are the most dangerous and how predators are taking advantage of the new technology. It's very frustrating, um, especially when you, you try to tell the, the kids out there that there are these dangers, but they always think that they're smarter. So what can parents do to protect their kids? And which apps do parents need to watch out for most? Jason Marks, 10 on your side. Now you'll hear more from the FBI and Jason's special report, Smartphone, Bad Choices, tonight at 6. Coverage begins on Wavy News 10 at 4.